An anti-aircraft shell is fired vertically upward with an initial velocity of 378 meters per second. Now, what on earth is an anti-aircraft shell? It doesn't matter. It is an object that is fired vertically upwards. In other words, it has an initial velocity going upwards and then it heads downwards after some time after it's reached its maximum height. Okay, so what is the initial velocity? Well, before we go ahead, remember, we must choose upwards or downwards as positive and negative. I'm going to choose upwards as positive, but it really doesn't matter what you choose as positive. So here in the first part of the question, we can actually do that. Let upwards be positive. Okay, now we say in, uh, with an initial velocity of 378 meters per second. So our initial velocity is equal to 378 meters per second. What is the maximum height of the shell? Okay, in other words, we want to know what is this height that it actually reaches before it starts falling back towards the earth okay in other words head back down this way so what do we know about the maximum height that it reaches well i hope you realize that we know that the future value uh, or the future velocity at this point is equal to zero because that's where it stops for a absolute brief moment and then starts falling to the earth so that's what we know we also know that acceleration is 9,8 meters per second squared. But remember, acceleration is a downwards um, vector in this example. Since we chose down to be negative, because we chose up to be positive, it must be negative 9.8 meters per second. What that simply means is that for every second, the 378 meters per second that it starts with will lose because it's negative 9.8 meters per second. So let's go and see with what we have, future uh, velocity, initial velocity, and acceleration, we want to work out the change in displacement, and therefore we need a formula that contains all of these values. So we notice that the formula which we are going to need to use is this one there we go we've got future velocity initial velocity no we don't have acceleration i was wrong okay how about this one no it doesn't have displacement okay so let me go again ah here we go we have future velocity squared initial velocity squared acceleration and change in displacement that's the formula that we are going to use so Let's write it down and complete the question. The future velocity squared is equal to initial velocity squared plus two times acceleration times delta x. Instead of using a here, you may also use a g. So if we substitute, we get 378 squared is equal to initial velocity. Oh, sorry, I made a mistake. Future velocity is not 378, future velocity is zero. I apologize. Zero squared is equal to 378. That's the initial velocity that's upward. Plus two times, this time acceleration is negative 9,8 meters per second squared. And the change in displacement is what we want to calculate. So we'll leave it as our unknown. And now we need to do is solve this okay so what we notice here on the right hand side we have zero then we have 378 squared okay so obviously 378 squared must go to the other side of the equation because we want to solve for x okay so we are going to subtract 378 on both sides so minus 378 squared on both sides minus 378 squared on both sides that will cancel it on the right hand side and I'll be left on the um, left uh, right hand side with negative 2 times 9,8 gives me negative 19,6 change in x 
And now to solve, let's divide both sides with negative 19.6, negative 19,6. And that's where we see, oh, at least we get rid of these negatives, which I'm sure you hate as much as I do. Okay, so if I have on the right hand side, I have left over change in x. On the left hand side, I'm going to solve that using the calculator as 378 squared divided by 19.6 and I get an answer of 7,290 7,290 meters okay and that's our answer let's go put it in we know that this was the correct formula to use let's do our stock taking we didn't know average velocity, we knew initial velocity was 378. Final velocity is zero, only because we consider the uh, uh, future velocity actually. We consider future velocity um, where it is actually equal to zero. The change in displacement is what we want to calculate. We don't know how long it takes. Acceleration we know is 9.8, but please do remember it is acceleration in the negative direction, in the opposite direction. So it's a negative 9.8. When we do our substitution step, I'm only simply going to substitute into my formula that I decided to use this formula. Perfectly substitute initial velocity is 0 squared. Sorry, final velocity is 0 squared. Initial velocity is 378 squared plus 2 times negative 9.8 times delta x. The question asks us to ignore the delta, so we're not going to type delta, but we are going to preview to see whether it looks the way I want it to look. And that is exactly what I had here before I started solving. After I did the solving step, so if you were to do this um, at your own type, this step in between here you're going to have to do on paper, so that in your final answer you only need to type in the answer as x is equal to 7290 meters. Don't forget your units and don't forget to preview just to make sure. Okay, so here just it asks us that the maximum height will be, okay, the maximum height will be 700 and 7290 meters. The only reason why this extra step is in here is because if you chose downwards as positive, then this answer would have been negative and the maximum height would be and then you had to change your answer to be a positive value so if you do choose downwards as positive make sure to keep it as a positive answer when you get your negative value in your answer cool